Hello, this is Elliot from the Hex Cam and Aero Lacay. Um, I'm just going to try and take you through some of the updates uh, that DJI have just released for the Phantom 3 and for the DJI Inspire. I'm using the Phantom 3 today because then I could show you all of the various uh, options. They've released now Course Lock and Home Lock uh, in the Function Switch. And they've also released Waypointing, um, a Follow Me mode and a Point of Interest mode. So I'm going to try and take you through those. I won't worry about Course Lock and Home Lock because most people are quite familiar with those. I am recording on the mobile phone uh, here, so the sound may be poor quality, for which I apologise. I'm just going to take the machine away a bit and up a bit. Um, most of these require you to uh, do some stuff in the app whilst the machine is flying, which isn't ideal, but it's just the way it is. So we'll have to go with that for now. Um, we're at one of our little training fields down here in the dip, so I'm out of the way of everybody, and hopefully I can just show you some of the uh, some of the features of the of the aircraft. So let's start probably the easiest one which is the point of interest mode so i'm going to try and do the point of interest around me so the first thing i need to do is use is, is the switch on the back needs to be switched to the function the, the f setting so i switched it to that now and now the intelligent navigation modes have appeared on my app and i'm going to click on point of interest so this does mean i've got to take my eyes off the aircraft which is a little bit annoying but obviously i know where it is first thing to do is it says fly the aircraft to above the point of interest and set that position as the point of interest so i'm going to fly the aircraft almost immediately above me, not quite. And then I'm going to move to that spot in a second. So I'm going to put it there and I'm going to apply this as a point of interest. Okay, now it says fly the aircraft away from the point of interest and set the circling speed. So I'm going to fly it away. I'm going to try and get it to a so I'm going to move myself forward to the point where I set it. I'm going to set it relatively close because we've got a tree over there. I'm going to take the aircraft a bit higher and I'm going to angle it down on me and see how it does. So it's like can vary the aircraft speed. So I'm going to set it at quite a slow speed initially. And it says counterclockwise. And I'm just going to press start. So I press start. It's now asking me to confirm the return to home altitude, which I have. And it's going to begin to move, hopefully. Initially, there's a bit of a jolt. Um, but I'm doing nothing now. And the aircraft is slowly circling me. I forgot my hat and my sunglasses. So I'm in a little bit of the dark here. Nice slow pace. The aircraft just... You see I'm doing nothing with my hands at the moment and the aircraft is just slowly circling me. I'm just going to try speeding up a bit, we'll see if there's a bit of a jolt. So I'm now speeding up, let's speed up to 3 metres per second. Okay, now a bit of a jolt as it got moving. But again it is following me, it is holding that position nicely. Now in theory I can move backwards and forwards as it circles, so I'm just going to move it away a bit from me as I go. I'm going to adjust the camera angle up slightly. It's not quite holding me centre frame. I think I can rotate it slightly to do that. There we are. So that's now holding me centre frame because the uh, camera is just tracking behind slightly the machine. I can also go up and down at the same time. So I'm just going to go up a bit now. Bring the machine up. Angle the camera down slightly as I do so. That's a nice feature. So if you're doing, if you're filming around a central object, then that should be fine. Uh, let's just pause it. So if I hit pause, it just slams itself to a stop. I'm bring it back the other way and resume. So it's now zipping back the other way again. And again, I'm not quite central, so I can just adjust the angle of the machine to bring myself central. Okay, so that is point of interest mode. I'm going to pause it again uh, and it says exit this mode so I'm going to exit the aircraft will hover confirm okay so I've gone back to the mode so I'm just going to bring it the aircraft forwards and back over the other side again there we go I'm not sure the annoying thing is that is it's uh everything's right in the middle so I can't see myself but I'm pretty sure I'm there okay let's try following me I'm going to with the follow me, I think what you have to do is it leaves you exactly where you are. You press follow me. In follow me mode, the aircraft's movements will correspond to your movement. So let's, so now you've got to be at above an altitude of 10 meters, which I am now, just. And I'm just going to click apply. And that's what it says. So it should follow me now. So let's see what it does. Is it going to do it? So 
So it's following me in the position where I've left it. It's not doing any circling or anything yet. Um, let's move the camera down slightly. So I've still got control of the camera. I'm doing nothing other than that, other than just walking with the transmitter and the thing. Put back for what? See what happens. Okay, a little bit sluggish, but it's coming. Here she comes. Yeah, I wonder what happens if I move over here. Okay, I can't escape. This is like the prisoner. I'm gonna escape, little phantom. Where you gone? Aha, aha. Yeah, it's trying. It's good, I presume. If I then move. Oh, that's uh, quite harsh. I'm gonna move over here. So it's tracking me from the side. Well, I kind of presume it will. Uh, it will keep doing it. So let's have a look. I'll try not to trip over while I'm doing so. Is it going to do it? Yeah, it's a bit juddery. I think there's some real, real work to do here. But it is tracking me. So if you were doing a bigger picture shot with a moving vehicle or a, um, you know, a person or a truck or a, a boat or something, I think that would probably work quite well. But it's definitely trying hard. Okay, I've gone the other way. It's obviously using the GPS on my um, transmitter so it's got to it's got to do that right okay good okay so that's uh, follow me right let's bring it back over here again a bit so I've got a bit of space we've got some power lines over to one side of our site so I have to uh, steer clear of those don't seem to have any negative impact on any aircraft we've flown here which is good right and now I'm going to exit the follow me mode Aircraft will hover, confirm. Right, so let's have a look at waypointing. Now this is interesting because the way they've done the waypointing at the moment is the waypointing is you position the aircraft for a series of waypoints and then it flies the waypoints for you. So if I click on waypoint now, it's not bringing me up on path um, at the moment that I can set up on the map or anything like that. I've got to create a set of waypoints. So I'm just going to take, uh, so it says start record. And what you do is you use C1, so the button on the back here, C1, to create a waypoint. And you use the other button, C2, to delete the waypoint. So I'm going to record where it is now as a first waypoint. Okay, that says recorded, waypoint's one. And I'm going to back the aircraft away. And put the camera up slightly for this one. And I'm going to record that waypoint again. I noticed when I was testing this before that um, uh, a couple of the waypoints didn't register immediately, so make sure you've checked it's registered. I'm then going to bring the aircraft round to several little points. One over here. Okay, record the waypoint. C1, 3, and here. That's four waypoints. And here, that's five waypoints. And then I'm going to bring it back in. I think this has a bit of work to do again, but it's still interesting. Bring it back in to about there and do the sixth waypoint. And then I'm going to bring it round there, seven waypoints, and there. Now that one didn't register. Ah, it's because I am, um, it's too close to the previous waypoint. So I'll just bring it back a bit, try that again. Eight waypoints, so that will do for now. So let's have a look, and it says done, so I'm going to press done. Fly the aircraft to the home point. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that is. I'll leave it where it is for now. Let's have the aircraft heading as consistent with the record or um, following the path. I'm going to have it consistent with the record, so it's pointing me rather than pointing along the, the, the line of the path. And it says, when flight mission is complete, do I want it to hover, which I do. Flight velocity, I'm going to set it at three meters per second per now. The maximum is... Uh, five. So I'm going to set it for three. Two and a half. 
2.9 is what it's, it's gone to. I'll do. I'll live with that. Okay, I can press start. Confirm return to home altitude. It's uploading waypoints to aircraft. Oh, and it's gone. Right, so it's pointed away from me initially. Yeah, it's gone to the first one, and there it goes. It's straight away. It's pulling away. It's doing the pull away shot on its own. I'm doing nothing. Obviously, I can interrupt this at any time by going back to GPS mode. Here it goes. It's into its circle shot. It's pointing at me the whole time at the moment, which is great. I'm, I'm not tested whether you, need, whether you can adjust the camera at the same time. Okay, let's move in towards me. And then now it's swinging around back to the original position. Okay, so it's quite cool if you want to set up a shot and uh, fly that same shot over and over again. Um, so that is uh, that is done. Okay, and I'm going to pause that. I'm going to exit this mode. Aircraft will hover. Confirm. Okay, so there are three of the five modes. I'm not including course like on home lock. But it gives you a little bit of an idea. So this is Elliot from uh, Hexcam and the Aerial Academy. Um, have fun with your Phantom and Inspire. Obviously, be careful. Make sure you're fully familiar with the modes and how the aircraft behaves before you head out and um, and have a go.